basically did my whole base. I did my foundation, my concealer, my contour, and I obviously did my brows and eyes. Well, the beginning of my eyes. So I have the powder right here. So Laura Mercier actually did send this over to me. Um, and this is what came inside the package with it along with a nice handwritten note. So shout out to them. I'm so thankful. Um, but you can definitely find this at Sephora. So aside from this being talc free, it's also supposed to have no uh, flashback. It's supposed to be nice and nourishing to the skin. And it's also not going to make the skin feel tight or like dry. Um, and it has amino acids and silica powders in there that helps to give that really nice blur. So that's what the paper here is saying. It also does come in the two other shades. They sent over translucent to me, but it comes in the honey and the medium deep. If I really like this, I definitely will go out and get the honey because the honey is my favorite in terms of the original formula. Um, that's my favorite powder out of all of them. And, um, I mean, I used a translucent one, obviously, and they sent over this one. So I'm going to use it for you guys and show you guys exactly how it works. So I'm going to do one half of my face with the original and then the other half of my face with the translucent. I mean, the, um, the ultra blurring, you guys know what I mean. So one of my eyes actually is more indented than the other, which is this one. Wait, let me just make sure I forgot. Yeah, I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. So this one is the one that I'm actually going to use the ultra blurring with because I want to see if this would kind of cover that more than the original one would. So I'm going to use it for that side. And I'm really curious to see just how it works. I'm not going to be using a puff. They do recommend that you use a puff with it, but I don't, I don't really use that. So I'm just going to use a sponge because I feel like it's no point in me showing how I would use it when I don't use it that way. You know, even though those are the directions, I feel like I'm gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it because that's how I'm gonna do it anyway. Does that make sense? So, yeah. So right now I'm just tapping it into the lid. That's normally what I do. And since this is a new product and I just took off the sticker, I do need to tap it out of here. I'm going to dip my sponge into it and I'm gonna pat it in like I would any other powder. So I've already applied one layer of the product. I personally like to go in two times for extra coverage, but what I can already tell is that it does take a little bit more blending. Um, I just have to press this one in a little bit more from what I remember. Like I said, I usually use the, the honey one, so it's going to give a different vibe anyway because there's a yellow undertone to that powder versus this one, which is kind of like a neutral tone. But that's what I can tell already. Um, the texture does seem less tight, if that makes sense. Like it's definitely a smoother product, I will say that. And I don't know if that has to do with the, um, with no talc, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with the silica powders because silica is normally what makes things have that smooth feeling. So that's what it's giving. So I'm just gonna do another layer. So that's normally what I do. And I'm gonna see how that goes. Okay, it's not bad. For some reason, the camera is not giving me the lighting that I want today. I'm not certain why, but in person, it actually looks really nice. Like, yeah, it looks super nice in person. It's not bad. Like I said, on camera, for some reason, it looks really weird. Like, ooh, I don't know, but I'm not gonna judge it yet. So now I'm using the uh, the OG powder. 
and I'm pressing my sponge. You know what? I'm gonna use a different sponge actually. So that way there's no cross contamination and we can get the real, real vibe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to be using a different sponge. Okay, so I'm dipping this new sponge. Well, it's not, it's kind of dusty, but <laughs> I haven't used it with powder. So I'm using this and I'm gonna dip it in. Okay, so to be fair, the sponge is different has a different shape so it definitely just put this all over my whole cheek which is fine i don't mind it but i might have to go in and do the other one so that way it completely matches but one thing i will say looking at it already is that um i don't know i feel like this this powder is a little bit easier to blend in you guys and yeah, it does have more of a, a tight feel, but I don't know if I really have an issue with that. See, like if somebody had dry skin, I could see where the tightness would be an issue. But sometimes I have dry skin too, but maybe it's just because I'm used to it. I prefer to have something be kind of firm to hold me all day, you know, to make sure my makeup is long lasting. But I just realized I'm looking at the monitor so much. I'm so sorry. But I personally feel like... um yeah i don't know if i necessarily mind that tight feeling um this side to me i can't tell if, if i like this side better if i'm being honest even in person this side definitely has more of a glow it mattifies it but it's not super mattifying versus the original formula it keeps it super mattifying you know what i'm saying so before i move on i'm just going to use a little bit more of this powder here to mimic what the other sponge did and kind of go over here more okay now as far as everywhere else in the face um, you know what i'm going to do in order to really uh really compare it i'm going to carve out my face here so that way i'll be able to tell exactly how they perform because i feel like underneath the eye is not enough and putting it in these small areas is not going to be able to really you know really really do the comparison so i'm going to carve out this side of the bottom half with this powder this is the ultra blurring the new powder i'm gonna put that here mm -hmm. oh my gosh i feel like this lighting is just like words it's not the best that's why i keep looking over here too because i'm not really happy with it but that's fine whatever and then i'm gonna use the og powder on this side and carve it out with this and i'm going to do the rest of my makeup off of camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys what that looks like. And then I'm going to finish with the rest of the day. I do have other videos to record and other things to do. So um, when I'm done with that, I'll come back at the end because then I would have been moving around, shaking, you know what I mean? So I can let you guys know exactly what I feel after a couple of hours about how the powders actually lasted, um, performed, and just my final thought. All right, you guys, so I'm back as you can see. Got the whole glam look going on. Um, so I was recording a couple TikToks and when I was, I noticed that both sides look pretty blurred if you ask me. I feel like both of them perform pretty well in that sense, being on like a different type of camera. Um, also looking at it in the monitor, I think I was wrong. I think this side is actually the side that I'm more indented on. It could be that or it could be actually this powder blurring it out. I don't know, I can't tell, probably does not even matter. <laughs> Um, but yeah, what I'm going to do now is go record my other video that I have to record. For that one, I'm going to have to be trying on clothes and stuff like that. So I'll be really able to move and shake just to like, you know, get the natural sweat and oils going to see how each one performs compared to each other. And I'll be back to let you guys know how I feel. 
guys so i am back as you can see i have on a completely different outfit well not completely different you guys can't see the rest but i'm wearing a different outfit than i was wearing earlier and that is because i recorded a different video like i said so i've been sweating i've been taking clothes off putting them on recording all that good stuff and i feel like the makeup has held up pretty good in my opinion on both sides just to remind you again this side is the original powder and then this side is the newest blurring one and i feel like they both look pretty good i will say that this one definitely has more of a glow to it so if you have dry skin i would definitely recommend something like this because it goes on really smooth it doesn't give you any of that cakey tight feeling that you might not like and it's talc free so if you're somebody who does not like talc or wants to stay away from it this is a really good option in my opinion i'm mm, still on the fence i don't know if i would purchase this in the honey but maybe i would then again because i do like to try a new product so perhaps i will be picking up this version for maybe in the winter time or like just when i want a softer look in makeup that's another thing i was going to say about it i feel like it gives the face a softer look overall but when you're looking at me in person you really can't tell the difference but if you're looking close and if I told you, then you would probably be like, oh, okay, well, this one does look a little softer. Know what I'm saying? But anyways, I hope this video was informative for you. I hope you guys understood exactly where I was coming from. Sometimes I feel like I cannot say certain things, but it is what it is, okay? I just hope that you enjoyed, like I said. And if you did, let me know down in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Give this video a little thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. As usual, I'm sending so much love your way, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.